Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video we're going to see about uh, React Native Stack Navigator, Switch Navigator and a Bottom Tab Navigator. So we're going to combine all these three navigators and we're going to see a simple example on how we can combine them. Now before that, uh, if you are new to my channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe and do visit all my previous videos. Come let's jump into the video. I'm going to use the uh, same project which we have created earlier for the previous video. Uh, I've just separated out this uh, uh, the login flow into this auth stack navigator. So this is the simple uh, you know, component. This separated out the stack navigation components here, the sign in and sign up, sign up uh, components. And I'm going to create another uh, file for the bottom tab navigator so to create a bottom tab navigator we need a we need a dependency here a dependency is nothing but create that is from react navigation Tabs. So this dependency is not available now. So I'm going to install it. Great. So let me go install npm install React Native tab, React Navigation tab. So this provides the support to create the bottom tab navigator. Okay. Uh, so with that I'll uh, go here to the app.js file which we have modified now. So here if you look at I have just modified the authentication flow with the navigator which we created here. So this is re replacing uh, the existing sign in and sign up screen which is moved, up, moved to this auth navigator. So I, if you look at here I am still using the stack navigator. So as because of this, if you look at the uh, screen which is running now, you can see there are two uh, title bars here. One is auth and one is sign, in, sign up. So this is because uh, we are using two stack navigators. So this is also a stack navigator and this is also a stack navigator. So in this place, we should be using a switch navigator which switches between the stack navigator and uh, in the bottom tab navigator. Okay, so I'm going to make this as a switch navigator. So that's that is going to come from here in this React navigation component. Create switch navigator. So I'm going to use this. Sorry. Create switch navigator. I'm going to use this here. And I'm going to say, say this as switch switch navigator. I'm going to make this inside to create the application. So let me save this and go here. So, so now the package is installed, so you can see it is installed. Let me create the bottom tab. So I'll let it get refreshed so that you can see the changes. Save it again. Remote. So now you can see here uh, the, the title bar which we have seen before is not appearing because as because we are uh, using the uh, switch navigator and which which accommodates the stack navigator and the tab navigator. So now I'll create the top, uh, bottom tab navigator. const tab navigator okay we'll to create tab navigator okay sorry it should be create bottom tab navigator this so as like the uh, stack navigator I want to export default dev 
later. So this is fine. This, go, this will have a home screen. Okay. And let's say a search screen. This is enough. Okay, so I'm going to say screen is going to be home screen, and we don't have a screen for search. Let me create one. Uh, let me go here to the screens. Just copy this and paste it here again, and rename it search. Copy the name because this is going to be a boilerplate code, so I'm just going to update it here. Okay, so similar way, I'll just copy it again, paste it, and let me say this as profile screen. Same way, I'll copy this, go inside it. Two other screens are ready. Let me go here, tab navigator, screen, let's go to search screen. Yep, so this is going to be screen, profile screen. Okay, so all done. So we're just going to have this inside our app.js file. We can remove the unwanted imports. I'm going to say this as main flow. It's going to have the tab navigator. Okay, so we can remove the home import and save it. So we can reload the application here. So there you go. So we got the sign in page, and the username and password. the sign in screen so home screen but you can able to see the home search and profile I guess so this is what the bottom tab navigator is so in the uh, you know, this is just a simple implementation like how we can add uh, the bottom tab navigator and uh, combining them with uh, stack navigator inside a switch navigator so in our next tutorial, uh, the next video will uh, you know add uh, icons to this tab navigator. Uh, probably we can add an animated icons to the tab stack navigator, and we'll also pull this uh, text over here, uh, you know, to down. Probably we can add. Uh, probably now it's all I can show you. Probably.
If I go to home screen, the home screen I'm able to see clearly. The same implementation you can add to the research screen and the profile screen. can see clearly that we are in home screen and we go to search screen and here I think the profile screen is not saved. Let's save it and now you can see the profile screen as well. So that's the end of the video. So in our next video we will we'll see how we can add the icons to this tab tab feature. Thanks for thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.